Hello everyone, this is João and welcome to João's Lab. If you don't know me yet, I'm one of the co-founders of KenHub, an anatomy learning platform, which I will leave a link below on the description. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel there at KenHub, please do so and visit our website for everything anatomy related. Now, what I do here on this channel is a little bit more informal. So like today, I'm here at Alentejo, Portugal, spending some vacay, good ho old holidays. And I took my iPad, as you can see. So bear with me, the sound quality is probably not the best. Even the image quality is not the best. But I wanted to do something more personal, more informal, so we get to know each other a little bit better and you see a little bit of what I do behind the scenes, things that I go through with KenHub that I think would be worth sharing with you guys, and also things that I have fallen in love through my journey of medical education. There are also other things that I love doing, like um, stationery, I'm into stationery, I'm into uh, finding out how to create videos, so different types of video production. So I really wanted to create this uh, or to continue this, uh, this channel so I can experiment with different types of formats. So today I'm going to be so doing something very simple and here I'm going to first show you where I am. I am in the southern part of Alentejo, which is a district here in Portugal. I live in Lisbon at the moment, but we decided now during this, these tough times, we decided to take a break and come here, uh, stay in Portugal uh, and decided to just rent a place, an Airbnb. And we're here pretty much isolated from the world where we just take some time to relax. And I've been having a lot of ideas of what we can do, not only at Kenha, but also here on this channel. Uh, things that we can try at KenHub that might be working for you guys to learn anatomy and other topics that we cover there, but also things that I could uh, do here and experiment here on this channel that might work for you guys. Now today I was trying to think about what is, what would be a fun video to do besides just showing where I am right now. And one of the things that I came up with, I know it's very creative, was to show you how I write down some of, some of the ideas that I have, for example, when I'm creating content for KenHub. So especially when we think about social media, we always think about creative things. And I write down some of my ideas when I'm on the go, for example, now on holidays, I always think about what am I going to be creating next? And the way I do so is very, very complex, so stay tuned, it's going to be a very long video. So <laughs> the way I do is simply use a notebook, like you can see here. I just bought this notebook a few months ago and I just use it to write down some of the ideas. I really like to write uh, things down uh, non-digitally, let's say, so using pen and paper. And then when I have an idea that I really like, then I move it to the digital world. For example, if I open here, this is pretty empty at the moment, but I have been writing some of the ideas that are that have been used on some of the posts that I have created and some others that I'm going to be doing in the future, so you'll get a sneak peek. So, as I mentioned, here is the notebook that I use. Again, sorry for the shaky image, I'm using an iPad. So when I open here, you can see that I use gel pen to write and sketch some of the ideas that I want to use, for example, on Instagram posts. Some ideas that I haven't created yet, some that I have, for example, this one, Play With My Heart. I have shot this one. You can see it now on the screen. So basically I just had, just created a very simple sketch. Again, I'm not a great artist. But you can see this is enough to give you uh, an idea of what I do when I want to create something and put it on social media. I use these posts not only on my personal account, but I use it of course for KenHub. Other ideas that I have here that I want to create, I have done this one, for example, the Backstreet Tubes. I shot this video, which is going to be on this channel. When it's something that is anatomy related, I always, of course, focus on KenHub because that's my 
first priority here. And when I create a post that is related to anatomy, I wanted to then have it on our Ken Hub Instagram account or on our Facebook accounts too and Twitter. I always try to pick the ideas that I like the best and go with them because sometimes these ideas are not the best and <laughs> like every idea so I just put them aside and focus on one that I think would work. What I usually do then I can take these ideas and move them to for example a Trello board where I'm going to then manage the actual process of creating these posts. And if you are a stationary fanatic like I am, these are the pens that I use. So I use this one for the red and I use this one, these two gel pens. This one is the Flying Colors 0.7 millimeters. This one is the Bic, I believe that's the way you pronounce it in English. The red one, the Grip Roller. And that is it. I just showed you how I write down some of the ideas that I usually have when I want to produce content for CanHub, for the social media accounts that we have at CanHub. And also, I some of the things that I create at CanHub, sometimes I just publish or republish on my personal account as a way to benefit both accounts and also to connect with you guys in different ways. If you have any questions as usual, please leave them on the comments below. I always like to read your comments and get some of your perspectives as well. And please don't forget to check out our website, kenhub.com, where we have everything you need to learn anatomy, medical imaging, and histology from scratch. We have videos, articles, quizzes, and atlas sections, everything basically that you need to learn this material in no time. Don't forget to like this video. Yes, that button right there that you should like because this is a way that you tell YouTube this, this is valuable content and more people should be watching. And share this video also with a friend that might be interested in medical education and content creation. I will see you on the next video.